I should not have been. It was written that 23 years ago, in the year of the fire horse, a deity would be reborn in the body of a mortal man. A savior, destined to unite our people and show us the way to the promised land. Instead, I was born from my mother's dying body, and my people wept. They said I was a portent of doom. Maybe they were right. My clan believed this sword was forged in heaven for a deity. No mortal may wield it in battle without its power draining their life. The clan's duty is to protect the sacred weapon. Even in our darkest moments, the sword was never to be used. But I wielded the heavenly sword, savored the grace and fury in my blows, never once forgetting what I was offering for such power. Days ago, I made my fatal choice. The pact is at an end. Now I must pay the price. Bohan. A king from a distant country seeks the heavenly sword. He seeks it as a symbol of his dominance over my clan. And with it, his dominance over the land. Bohan has hunted us for months. And he is relentless. My people are great warriors, but we cannot run forever. Kai! I don't like these drones. I don't like them. We've got to get to the fort. Now! You know as well as I do. We all know who brought this curse down upon us. I am no curse! Enough! This war is of one person's making, that much is true. But that person is not Nariko. In my dream, I see my father. He is standing above me. He raises the sword above his head. I try to call out to him and tell him to stop, but the sword strikes down. <laughs> but this night, it wasn't a dream. The sword is now mine to protect, and my life will change forever. me such a heavy sword for such a fragile creature come child let me take your burden never leave me Nariko get the sword away from here the line must not be broken I see the years as we studied together have taught you nothing no! shut up Every lifetime has one moment. You stand alone and you see it all so clearly. To save my father's life, I betray his whole reason for living. I know it's death I'm holding now. Did I ever have a choice? What have you done, Nariko? What have you done? The sword does have power. I can feel it. In fact, I'm counting on it. If what is written is true, its power will soon drain my life force and it will kill me. By wielding it, I have become a 
ghost of flesh and blood. But really, what was I before? Bird or worms? It's tasty. The others. Father, where are they? I saw those soldiers again. And? They had Master Shen and some of the others. Did you see where they were taking them? With every age that comes to pass, there is one born to greatness. Sent from heaven to shape the world to a divine vision. I am the one. <laughs> Is my middle name, sir? General. Understand this. I need protection. There are those who wish to expunge me. What would you have me do for you? My most sublime king. Steady. What have I told you about calling me that word? It's bad enough seeing you blot out the sun each day without being reminded that you sprang from my youthful and exuberant loins. Sorry, Daddy. All of you just go. You're not listening, Nariko. Oh, shit. Why don't you tell her your little secret? Your daddy wanted to kill you when you were just a little baby, Nariko. When he saw what a foul affront to the prophecy you were, It's true. He still wonders whether he made the right decision in letting you live. Whether he should have ended your life in that stinking barn. You don't understand, Nariko. Your birth, her death, my duty to the clan. Life is not that simple. Listen to Daddy! You should have done it. You should have killed me. No, no. I have now made that choice for you. Leave me. Now I can shower my attentions on you and only you. Oh, Bohan. Yes, my dear. I'm scared. Help me. Good night, my sweet. Kill you. And I'm going to kill that walking flesh bag son of yours. Not very interesting. But you see, the sword is mine now, and it is residing safely in my armory with all my other trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be here. You must come home with Kai, like a good girl. Please, help me get the heavenly sword back. Focus, it's in the armory. You have to hide, Kai. Now, here among these rocks, no one can get you. My darling Kai, be my strong, brave daughter. I won't be long, I promise. Little one. <laughs> Welcome! What a glorious day this is to celebrate the capture of the heavenly 
sword you! I invite you all to indulge me in my little distraction. <laughs> You imbecile! You utter failure! Just in time. survive these injuries. It followed me. Then it has found what it was looking for. Send this message to your lonesome master. If you have the courage of a real warrior, then you will come and meet our steel. We are ready, Bohan. We are waiting. My father always knew how to prepare men for battle. For death. Once death has been fully accepted, there is nothing to fear. You are free. If I can leave Kai one last thing, let it be a future. A chance to do things differently. To live a peaceful life. Be happy. That is worth dying for. Thank you. 